everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect. Some big mistakes made last time, but that doesn't matter too much, because we're in it for the long haul now. I don't know if we have 22,000 in cash coming in tomorrow, or if, well, let's see how much cash we're making on, on the hour. 160, 160 times 24 is, well, let's say it's like 200, it's like 4,000. So I think we already got that, like 18,000 in uh, exports. Yeah, that makes sense. We're really spending four grand on taxes a day? Man, where do we live? Canada? <laughs> oh, it hurts. Anyway, by the way, that wasn't meant as a political statement. I, but it, when you say anything even vaguely jokingly political on YouTube, it's always so incendiary. It's like throwing a match into the air and then someone pushes like a bag of, you know, dry hay underneath it before it lands. Look, my metaphors are not always the best. Hey, there's something we can do to make this a little bit more efficient. Get rid of that staff door. The next thing is finding something to deal with this bottleneck right here. And honestly, I think I've got a great idea. All right. Now that this that sentence has caused problems in the past, why don't we just straight up uh, materials fence off this part of the yard? And then, uh, like, well, we have to build a foundation, but that's okay. We'll fence off this part of the yard. Then we'll build a small foundation. This is going to be more trouble than it's worth, isn't it? What do, oh, that's planning right there. As of right now, we're not really doing anything else except making our prison more efficient as we take in more inmates as well. So, like, don't... It's not like I could be focusing on anything else right now. Um, and then my thinking is just demolish this crap right here. Um, so, like, materials, demolish these walls... Uh, maybe up to that one. And then, also, these. And then, also, these doors, which will be in objects here. So, let's let the workmen do that. Now, the problem is that this will make it so our prison isn't really indoors anymore. It's, it's out of doors. But we'll have enough doors to make up for it, I think. To do some terrible wordplay. Uh, by the way, once this is all installed, which we should be getting pretty close. Oh, it's just done, actually. Um, now that those are all installed, we'll uh, start working on making more cells up there, because we have cash in hand, so why not? Um, but first things first, I kind of want to make this area just a little bit more efficient, because it's a nightmare zone right now. Um, in fact, what if we actually just demolish the crap out of this wall as well? Oh, not the cell wall, ideally. And then just kind of like... I mean, I would like to build a foundation here, but maybe we could just pave the crap out of it. But then there wouldn't be walls on the outside of our prison, which seems a little bit sketchy. Um, but there is a foundation here. If we built a wall, then what's the point, right? Okay, I think what we have to do is demolish the back of the fence. So let's say room's yard. Uh, there we go. And we're going to... We actually made our yard smaller, which is risky, but I think we got more than enough space for it. Now they're like, oh shit, where do we go? No, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it just fine. The yard is ready to go again. You want to go to the yard in free time, be my guest, see my vest. Um, well, maybe we'll wait until nighttime, because I do worry a little bit that we might cause some issues with it. Well, it's actually just the very start of the day anyway. I worry that we may cause some issues. I do not like that we're... Wait, it's 7 a.m.? Okay, so that's good. People will be hungry, but they'll get fed. So my thinking, in case you're confused about what I'm doing right now, is basically I want to get rid of this bottleneck. I think we'll build, like, a foundation, like, here, so there will be a wall on the back side of our yard instead of a fence. And by doing that and maybe closing it off, or see, oh, man, this is weird. I built this in a weird way. I mean, this is the best prison I've ever built, but it's still a little weird. What the heck's going on down here? Yeah, don't worry about dumping that rubble, that's fine. You can leave garbage in the walls, it's the American way here. So it's almost 8. Please, please eat. They didn't get a lot of food yesterday because of the power outages, so... Um, we got new prisoners arriving. I'm just going to take a quick look and make sure none of them are ex-police officers. Why can't I mouse over you and see your bio anymore? That seems weird. Alright. I don't like that very much. We should see that on the character screen. Okay, maybe it's because I'm in this mode. Okay, that's fine. James Evans, nothing. Simon Methwani, nothing. Ooh, you're a snitch. That means immediately we are going to put you in protective custody. 
Der Franck was captured as he began to start a revolution against Bayern, his oppressor. All right. The two snitches sitting next to each other? Jeez. Well, welcome to protective custody. Um, we've got another truck. Oh, there's a plainclothes one. Al Fingers Lindsay, a dangerous individual with an insatiable greed for contraband guitars and outlawed studio gear, you see? Okay. Uh, no special traits, though. No special traits. You're gonna give me three snitches on the same day? That seems really, really bad. Are they marked for death already? Let's, uh, let's have our informants go talk and make sure they're not marked for death already. Another thing I meant to do is we still have prisoners that need medical attention. We can actually take a doctor. And, uh, I was supposed to do this earlier. Right click over there. And then they'll actually go to them and treat them. Not sure if we want to dismantle that door yet. Also, I need to take a look. Is already oh my god, I did it again. Played with his heart, got lost in the game, etc., etc. Um, yeah, this we want this all to be medium security only, or um, yeah, normal security only. Are you still having trouble getting in? Maybe if people would actually spread out once they get inside, this wouldn't be nearly as much of an issue. Uh, okay, so here's what I'm thinking: objects. Dismantle this one. Uh, dismantle these doors. Like so. Demolish these walls. I know it's not nighttime, but I don't think it matters. Demolish these walls. And we'll build a small little foundation here. And then we'll probably end up demolishing a lot of the walls on the foundation too. But I think that's okay. Or we could just build walls and maybe it doesn't matter if it's inside or not. But I think it makes more sense for there to be a foundation. Otherwise, you got like walls with no roof on them. That seems like a pretty silly distinction to me. We're still okay. We're making ten grand with no exports. Is that true? And uh, we're making like six grand without exports. That's not so good. But we have only gone zero point eight days without an incident. So, um, you know, I'm not feeling that confident. So we want to build a foundation like this, basically. Is this right? This might cause us some problems, but I do think this is the right thing to do in the end here. We'll have to demolish some walls to make it work, but that's okay. I just want it to look a little cleaner at this point. And let's hope our workmen don't bung this one up too bad. Too badly, I should say. Uh, and we'll do a shakedown too. You know, if we're gonna have prisoners coming in absolutely every single day, we can't live without shakedowns forever, so we should, uh... These prisoners aren't going to be able to get out of the yard. That's going to be a bit of a frustration for them, I think. Uh, that and the walls, you know, spontaneously kind of coming into fruition right around them. But anyway, um, we're going to uh, hope that this works out. Come on, there's like one brick pile. Oh my god! Really? You're going to cause shit in the yard right as I'm in, like installing stuff? Now they're going to say we can't do this. What are you doing out here? They're going to say they can't uh, do the job because it's too dangerous. And again, we're going to have to make this... Oh, maybe that's why there was almost a, a big incident out there. It's because this was not uh, designated properly. That's okay. <coughs> Pardon me. Am I a big idiot? Is this staff only? That shouldn't be staff only. That should be shared. Now this, yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And then we're going to build, uh, well, we're going to demolish these walls. Here. And here, and we're going to install a bunch of doors again, like a lot of doors. One, we'll put one on every other space. Now, I don't know how much better this actually is. We're going to have to skip that one because of the CCTV. I don't know how much better, if at all, this actually is. But my main thing here, and th this is the boring part, I guess, or the really cool part, depending on your interest in life. I wasn't really concerned about... Uh, you know, the size of our yard or the efficiency there. Mostly I was just trying to make this hallway a little bigger so that when people actually exit the canteen, they don't all bunch up here and die. At least we can funnel off the people who are going to be coming down this way um, fairly easily. And again, this is that security only. All right. Well, nobody's been murdered today, so if nothing else, I'd consider this a net win for us. Because this looks ugly and for no other reason... Oh, no, they fixed it. Disregard. We will... Oh, Jesus Christ. 
We will put some... Can we put concrete down, like, here? Yeah, okay. We'll put some concrete down there, just because it looks dumb. Same here. I don't know if that's paving stone, or... That might have been paving stone. I used to have, like, a hallway run, or, a, like, an outside pathway run this way. Oh, this looks so much cleaner. So that's something that, you know, hopefully I'll never have to deal with again. On future prisons, I'll just... Another tase battle up here. Uh, on future prisons, I'll just uh, make big hallways from the start. But for now, this is a... I think this is a better way to handle things. Probably less likely to lead to incident. So now that that boring stuff is taken care of... Needs. Food. Alright, so our food situation... Still maybe not 100% working out. We'll see how that works out at the end of today, though. Seems people are a little bit more spread out in the yard. Um, we have someone that needs medical attention. Is that... We'll just take a quick look and see if it's protective custody. Doesn't seem like it. Did we not activate our informants recently? Let's do it again. They have really good coverage because they've been in here for so long. I don't know if there's an easy way to see who needs medical attention, but if I do see them, then I'll send the doctor to them. You know, we can have our doctors make house calls instead of having to wait for uh, prisoners to come to us. Which is better if we want to keep, like, high security inmates actually in their cells. Uh, do we have guard deployments in the yard then? No? What about patrols? Uh, two guards on patrol, that's fine. I think it's fine, at least. Then again, my prison has kind of a reputation for being a little bit murdery, so you might not want to take my advice on that. Tell you what, let's do a day of shakedowns here. Again, we don't have very much, uh... Oh, our... I forgot that we activated informants recently. I was gonna say, is their suspicion gonna be, like, through the roof as a result of this? Um... So only those guys are marked for death. I'm just trying to see, like, if I zoom out, are there any ex-law enforcement? Already seven people overflowing for, uh... High capacity. Or, sorry, for, uh, solitary. Alright, on a cursory glance, I don't see any, um... I don't see any people who need protective custody, which is good because protective custody is starting to get a little full. I want to take a quick look. Valuation. Good. We're at 800,000. When we get to a million, since there's not going to be like an alpha 26 that adds very many new features, it's going to be mostly uh, bug fixes, if not all bug fixes. Well, maybe when we get to a million. Oh. Oh, snap. Maybe when we get to a million, we'll uh, sell and try to make our million dollar prison. Uh, I almost clicked the sell button right now. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's going to be a little slow here. Just bear with it. I can't wait to see when our, er, our foundation education program goes through. We might finally be able to get uh, some people working on their GEDs. Which would be nice. 14 awaiting solitary confinement. Could be worse. I'm just trying to get our workmen in here to get this done. Like, seriously, what's your job right now? I don't know. But your, your new job is this. I'll open the door for you. Don't worry about it. No, no, no. You don't understand. Fill the hole. Did I see them digging it or something? I'm not sure what happened there. I don't I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I, I know that sometimes you can see them doing uh, tunnels. Like you have a percentage chance or something to see them doing tunnels on a shakedown. This room should not be okay, though, even though it's gonna fill, I think. It really shouldn't be okay. I think we're just gonna have to deal with some kind of lagginess until the uh, the shakedown's over with, pretty much. Now, we do have a bit of a surplus of, uh, or not, not a surplus, a deficit of guards, so I'm just gonna throw down, like, three or four more right there. I think we can justify that expense. We're making money. That door does not need to exist. And this hallway is working out fairly well. Prisoners are going to be mad because they're being searched, but only five have serious complaints, which to me means that our canteen hasn't really risen to the task. We could have some issues tomorrow. What's your problem? No, you're not enclosed? How? Did you get killed by another person in protective custody? Man, if protective custody can't be trusted to handle their own stuff, I don't even know what to say anymore. Where did the, did I accidentally like right click and demolish that wall? All right, that needs to be up like that. 
I don't know why people are so ornery about the whole situation. What are you doing with the drill? You're in protective custody. I'm trying to keep you alive. Tasers are going like crazy again. Come on now. Our guards are all very busy, of course. Um, you should be freed from here. I'm sorry. I do want to kind of set this cell up to be searched. Because we saw tunnels in here. 24 prisoners, like one-tenth of our prison, awaiting solitary confinement. That's not good. All right, he's searching. He doesn't find anything. The guy's name is really Cox, huh? Duncan Cox. Not with an X, though. With a CKS. Once we get to the point where our shakedown is kind of like hit the wall, we'll stop it and, uh, you know, get back to our average everyday life here. Still got a lot of stuff to search, though. I'm mostly just pissed about this guy being killed. I mean, I, yeah, of course there's snitches up here, but... I didn't think snitches kill snitches. Snitches get, snitches get stitches, but not from other snitches. That's hard to say. So we've done about 75% of our prison, I would say. Well, yeah. Actually, that's not a bad estimate. Our guards are actually being pretty efficient about it. How do we get to uh, a million prisoners? Or sorry, not a million prisoners, but a million dollar valuation. To me, it seems like the smartest thing to do is to trade cash in hand for prisoner capacity. Now, I'm not a you know financial analyst or anything like that. Uh, let's use our clone tool, though, if the game doesn't freeze. I'm not a financial analyst, but uh, the reason I say that is because if we spend our cash on prisoner capacity, not only do we... Uh, get more prisoners that make us more money but every cell that we build gives us five hundred dollars towards our valuation even if no prisoners occupying it so it seems like it's a fairly decent call just to pick it up um, we want the top wall oh the top wall not the bottom wall okay just place these then we'll deal with that nonsense uh... is this right something about this doesn't look right but we'll have him build it anyway is there no wa there's no back wall? Yeah, there's no back wall. Okay. It's been a while since I built new cells in this prison. I forgot about the intricacies. This also has to be filled in. Yeah, none. You're darn right there's none. Because you gotta remove the tunnels here. And here. Well, let's see how deep these tunnels go. I'm actually surprised with the efficiency of the shakedown. It seems like it's going fairly well. We have eight prisoners coming tomorrow. Yeah, I know we have a dead body. I'm not happy about it. You don't have to rub it in. So yeah, I think this is the easiest way to build valuation. Because pretty much we trade... What does each cell cost? Probably like $1,200. So we we automatically only get charged $700 because we get $500 back in our valuation for each cell that actually is functional. So it's $700 and then I think it only takes like a week of occupancy for a normal security prisoner to make you $700. So within a week it pays for itself. That seems pretty good to me. I'm not trying to get all, you know, Charles Schwab on you. I'm just saying, if we're trying to become a prison millionaire here, this seems like a fairly uh, efficient way to get it done while still not sacrificing our business. Looks like the shakedown sort of petered out here, so I'll tell you what, we'll uh, we'll turn it off. You know what, guards, you earned yourself some time in the staff, some time in the staff room there. Uh, you did a, a very good job, by my estimation. And we'll start building out some extra capacity here. I think the next best thing, um, I, I really hope we can get this guy to, like, the, you know, the hearse. Uh, but the next best thing for us, I think, is to just take that uh, $500 grant. Mostly, or sorry, uh, five, if we get 500 prisoners, we get a uh, $10,000 advance and a $20,000 uh, payment on completion. Because if we take that, it basically just gives us $10,000 towards our valuation because it's cash in hand. Then we can totally default on the grant requirements. Suck on that shit, taxpayers. Save that money for a future time. But for now... I think everything's going pretty well. So what? It's like 10 a.m. We just had prisoners arrive, and I didn't. Even, oh, you know what? They didn't arrive though, because we have such a backup here. That's fine. People still have problem with food. Is it because not enough food is being produced? If so, is that a shortage of cooks, or a shortage of cookers or fridges or stoves? Because um, I can pretty easily sort out an issue with cookers. A little bit more complicated, or is it a problem with serving tables? Like, this guy's trying to put some food on the serving table, but it won't fit. So sure, maybe we need some more serving tables. This is gonna be an ugly cafeteria, just get used to it. 
I'm assuming they can still get to it here. Can't place one there, huh? That's ugly. Let's not put one there. Um, yeah, I have no idea if that's going to work out for us and it's going to be the ugliest cafeteria of all time. Doesn't really bother me, to be honest with you. In the future, we'll build out with uh, capacity in mind, but for now, this is fine, I think. This is already, like, this area is totally assimilated into the rest of our prison now. Looks like it uh, was never its own kind of toxic waste type area up here. So we're up to 340 capacity. Honestly, it's really easy for us to build more capacity out here. Are you going to ever fill in this tunnel, by the way? We still have 24 people awaiting solitary. That's ridiculous. All right, it looks like that was actually the last one. We'll see. Just give it a second. Does the red triangle ever disappear? Why are you here? You know what? You're going to make me have to... Why is this maximum security only? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Okay. Cleaning cupboard should be medium only. And you know what? This whole freaking area now can be medium only because you guys never need to get out here. So there you go. Now we've made it so that protective custody never leaves their freaking hole here. You did that. Never forget, okay, that I wanted to have some integration, but protective custody can't be trusted. As soon as they say, you know, through, due to an oversight, you know, they're all about coulda, not shoulda. Can I go there? Yes. Should I? No. You're going to get stabbed in the face. All right. I can't be blamed for that, or at least I feel like I can't be blamed for that. This, These are... Oh, they need a toilet. Okay. We should probably stop building a little bit. Cash is a little bit low. Um, excuse me. Where are you going? Oh, is it because we don't have enough capacity for all the people who are in? Yeah, we have two people who probably should be moved. Fearless. Tell you what, fearless is uh, not enough to be kept in here. How about you? Instigator, I don't like it, but it's not that bad. Fearless instigator, that's worse. Fearless. Fearless is not so bad. Just means they can't be suppressed. So now we have uh, the proper capacities here. I don't want to see you pooping, man. Our, uh, our power just went offline. Really? I am a little bit flabbergasted. Do we not have full capacitors here? We, we were missing one capacitor? These other ones we can't have because of trees? Please don't tell me that's the case. Dump that tree. Dump that tree. Seriously, we need power so these people don't freak out. It's still pretty early in the day. They need to eat and poop. And shower, visit their families, etc, etc. It's still family time. You don't want to be one of the family members in prison when the power goes out. Oh baby, when the lights go out. Seriously, like, go talk to somebody, maybe get out of the prison as soon as possible, because it doesn't, it's probably not good stuff's going down. Now, with that tree gone, my hope is that we can actually install a couple more capacitors here. And that is indeed the case. But we should have enough power, at least for now. Keep the lights on. Wow, we must have been, like, just barely over. That's fine. All right, do we have a, yeah, we have a huge backup of trucks. We have new people that have arrived as well. Um, I, you know, I'll look at the bios, but I don't see any ex-law enforcement. Rude Scrappy D2, D20 Springer, a former employee of Donuts Arrest, spiked the daily police order with powerful laxatives, was then caught on surveillance camera running out of the police station, holding several rolls of toilet paper, claims to have done it for shits and giggles. Yuck, 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 yuck. Ex-agent of the CIA, Bob, Agent Bob Wang, was disavowed when he lost his mind during a mission and blew up a train station, killing 500 people. He is a world-class killer. Stoical, extremely deadly. I think I remember you. Welcome to Maximum Security, Steven. Extremely deadly. Oh, you're the, exactly the same. You don't have anything. Oh, you're totally... Welcome to normal security, my friend. Yeah, okay, we're at the we're at the balance here. Remember, people get promoted to maximum security whenever they're involved in an incident. 
But I don't think their likelihood to be involved in an incident necessarily carries over to, um, like, character traits. So if someone's deadly, I think that makes them more of a risk than if they're just, you know, if they're actually, like, a convicted murderer. I know that sounds ridiculous. I think it's true, though. Weird shadows going on here. Because technically part of this is inside and part of it isn't. Still 16 prisoners awaiting solitary confinement, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. We expanded our capacity a little bit. Prison valuation is... 90... Oh, we had two deaths. Okay, so it's... Actually, 810,000. Yeah, 810,000, which is a $790,000 valuation. If you uh, forget our cash, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.